Here's an expert tip from the EQ Ninja himself. In the industry, we call this the EQ Swapper. Definitely one to save for later. Place an EQ on the bass track and on the drum bus. Open the drum bus EQ. Find the fundamental frequency of the kick drum, usually around 60 to 80 hertz. Make a narrow boost of around 2 to 3 dB. Now go to the EQ on the bass bus. Do the same frequency, but do a cut around 2 to 3 dB, allowing the kick to cut through the bass. Now find the bass guitar's fundamental frequency, usually around 100 to 200, and add a boost around 2 to 3 dB. Go back to the drum bus EQ and do the same, but in a cut there. This allows the bass to cut through the drums. This technique helps great separation and clarity between the two instruments. But a pro tip to take this one step further is why not make all of them dynamic? That way, they only come in when they need to. That's your kick and bass issues over forever. Follow for more.